you know that we are a growing population. And growing population means growing demand in textile fibers. And unfortunately, the cotton production itself cannot keep up with this demand. So we need an alternative. And this is why cellulose man-made fibers were developed. Nowadays, we have two processes. The viscose process, which is this using this carbon disulfide, which is a very toxic compound. And the lyocell process, which is using NMMO, which is unstable and it's an explosive. So we need to change the cellulose solvent. And this is why ionic liquids, and more specifically, super-base ionic liquids, were developed. MTBD acetate, which is one of the core super-base ionic liquids, demonstrated its potential already at pilot scale. So it encouraged this idea of using ionic liquids as a cellulose solvent. Unfortunately, it's not a perfect solvent. It has a melting point of 80 degrees, which makes it inconvenient to handle at ton scale. And during your spinning process, you have a lot of water involved, and this can react with water. And you form this, what we call an hydrolyzed product, which is unfortunately not a cellulose solvent. It means that you are using, losing your solvent, your product, your time, and your money. And this is why this work is important. We are synthesizing new superbase ionic liquids to replace already MTBD acetate. And to do this, the list of requirements is very long. The ionic liquid has to be non-toxic. It has to be cheap. It has to be easy to make at gram scale in a laboratory or at ton scale in a company. It has to be at least as good as this solvent. And most importantly, it has to be completely stable into water. And bonus side, it can be liquid at room temperature or it can produce extremely good quality of fibers. And even if this list is very demanding and complicated, some our, of our structures managed to fulfill this list already and went even beyond it. And because we believe in their potential, we already scaled them up at kilogram scale in our laboratories, because we hope that one day they will completely replace the viscose and the lyocell process. Thank you. <laughs>